While we usually find shells, fish, and pretty pebbles on beaches, there have been some pretty weird discoveries recently. There have also been strange natural phenomena and devastating environmental pollution as well. What's got scales, a fin, and looks like a Komodo dragon, but lives in the sea? A very rare fish. And that's not even the half of it. From the walruses gone wild on Alaskan beaches to a California crab fest on the shores of the West Coast, or rogue rope monsters to ginormous garbage whales, you name it, 15 Strangest Things Washed Up on Beaches Part 2. <laughs> Number 15. Trash Whale. Listen to the whale's wake-up call. Look closer and see what plastic pollution does to the ocean, an environmental activist group wrote on their social media about this powerful campaign. We hope that this installation encourages the public to take action. Say no to plastic. They sent a strong message about plastic pollution with a giant dead whale art exhibit in the Philippines. The 50-foot-long whale replica, which was created from plastic waste, was positioned on the beach near the shoreline in Manila Bay. They based its shape, color, texture, size, and proportion on pictures of real beached whales. They even chose to show a decomposing whale so they played more with the texture on the skin using plastic trash they collected. They wanted to surprise the community in the area, and for that, they had to carefully craft a realistic dead whale. Many who saw the whale on the beach did believe it was real, and the reaction has been similar to photos posted online. Most disturbing thing that I've seen in my life, wrote one person, there was an environmental projection that by 2050, if we don't stop polluting our waters, there could be more ocean waste than marine life. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Mysterious Villa. On the shores of Central America, a mysterious ruined villa was recently discovered on a beach in Costa del Sol, El Salvador, leaving tourists scratching their heads. The abandoned villa of La Puntilla Beach was popularized by a TikTok user who filmed himself exploring the abandoned structure and also posted more in-depth footage online. It went viral and tourists have been flocking to the ruined villa ever since. It's unclear how the abandoned home ended up on the popular beach, but it seems to have been there a while. One of the most popular theories is that the villa was the victim of a powerful hurricane that hit El Salvador over two decades ago. Apparently, around 28 years ago, the so-called villa was actually a hotel called Hotel Puerto Ventura. One of the last things you'd expect to find washed up on a tropical beach is a concrete villa, and yet that's exactly the kind of bizarre attraction that beachgoers at the picturesque La Puntilla Beach are treated to these days. The cracked structure remains on the beach, leaning on the beach just as the point where the waves hit the sand. It's more accessible during the morning hours as the water recedes, but it returns with a vengeance in the afternoon, flooding the place and creating pools of water. That hardly stops tourists from exploring it, though. Number 13. Stranded Orca When the U.S. Coast Guard was alerted that a killer whale was stranded on a rocky shore on Prince of Wales Island, Alaska, the rescue began immediately. A group of people who spotted the orca from a boat were given instructions on what they could do to help the animal until the Coast Guard arrived. As well as the people on board the boat, local residents caught wind of the whale's situation and decided to go help too. Those who were helping the orca were told to keep the animal wet with seawater and try to keep birds away. With this in mind, the group then anchored the boat and used a hose to spray water onto the orca while others created a chain and passed buckets of water up from the water's edge to be tipped onto the whale. The orca, which had gotten injured on the rock, seemed to respond well to the assistance and could be seen moving its tail around before becoming more lively. Apparently, the whale got stuck there for six hours before wildlife authorities arrived to assist it, so it's likely the Good Samaritan's actions saved the animal's life. Eventually, the tide came back in again and the orca was able to safely swim off. Faith in humanity restored just a little. Number 12. Algae Beach It's beach time as usual for these people on vacation in eastern China, despite a thick layer of green algae appearing at popular resorts. Often regarded as one of the most beautiful and clean regions in China, the algae bloom has overwhelmed the city's normally golden beaches so that they now resemble sprawling grasslands. More than 13,500 square miles of water along the coast were affected by the phenomenon, 
media reported, and it's been a recurring event since the mid-2000s. The green algae has inundated the seawaters off Shandong province every summer for 20 years, lasting about three to four months each time. In 2008, Beijing even spent more than 100 million US dollars on a massive cleanup as the city prepared to host sailing events at the Beijing Olympics. Scientists say the plant does not pose an immediate risk to humans, but it can prove dangerous as it decomposes and produces toxic hydrogen sulfide gas. Plus, blooms like this can deplete the oxygen and block the sunlight that other organisms need to live, and some can produce toxins that are harmful to the health of the environment, plants, animals, and people too. We suggest staying out of the water. Number 11. Walrus Haulout Alaska's Point Lay and the nearby beaches of Cape Lisburn might seem like popular spots for walruses, but the haulouts of these walruses are a recent phenomenon. Walruses spend most of their time on sea ice. They migrate with moving ice flows and need ice for rest between dives for food. But climate change is dramatically shrinking available sea ice for walruses. As a result, thousands of them are swimming much farther distances to seek refuge on shore when no ice is available. On land, they congregate in large groups known as haulouts. Since 2007, walruses have been hauling out on land between their hunts. Before then, they'd populate sea ice patches throughout the Arctic. But sea ice hasn't been as reliable in recent years. Recent years have seen the number of walruses congregating in single haulouts of thousands. The increase in size and frequency is due to disappearing sea ice brought on by rising global temperatures. Climate experts say that the Arctic is warming twice as fast as the rest of the planet, and if emissions continue to rise unchecked, the Arctic could be ice-free one day. Upwards of 50,000 walruses have been hauling out on Arctic shores since the decline in sea ice. Number 10. Beach Diamonds Only in Iceland, one of the country's coolest attractions, quite literally, Diamond Beach takes its name from the glittering icebergs scattered across its shore like a field of diamonds. These stunning icebergs were once part of the nearby glacier. After breaking away, the blocks of ice floated lazily around the glacier lagoon before ending up here. The striking chunks of ice on Diamond Beach take on many different shapes, colors, and even sizes. Here you can admire larger-than-life blocks of ice in unique shades of azure blue or small black chunks of ice. Many factors influence the colors the ice will take. Blue ice can signify age, older ice, and lack of air pockets. The black coloring can be volcanic dust or the sunlight reflecting the black sand from the beach. As you explore this stunning black sand beach, you'll discover plenty of perfect photo opportunities and fall in love with Iceland's natural beauty. Once you've satisfied your inner photographer, make sure to spend some time looking for local wildlife. Diamond Beach is a great place to see Icelandic seals and is one of the best places in Iceland to spot orca whales. Plus, it's an excellent location to hunt the northern lights in the winter as there's little light pollution. Number 9. Portal to the Upside Down Have, have you seen the Upside Down Down Under? Any Stranger Things fans out there? A mysterious and forbidding gateway to an alternate dimension appears to have opened on the sands of Bondi Beach in Australia. A shadowy netherworld populated by monstrous demogorgons, the Upside Down, like on this beach, is the alternative dimension that vexes the citizens of Hawkins, Indiana, in the popular Netflix program set during the 1980s. Early morning dog walkers and wave riders were surprised when the gaping wound in the fabric of space and time seemed to have appeared overnight in the famous spot in Sydney's east, complete with tentacle-like vines and a glowing red core. So is it the work of an advanced device developed by foreign scientists? Whatever the explanation, reports are coming in that this is only the first of many such strange rifts appearing across the globe on the same day as the arrival of the fourth season of the hit Netflix program Stranger Things. Set in 1986, the season is highly anticipated and sees the return of all the major cast members in what's being teased as a major showdown against a powerful creature from the Upside Down. Number 8. Beach Reapers A beach that was swept away more than 30 years ago from a remote island off the west coast of Ireland has reappeared after sand was deposited on top of the rocky coastline. Hundreds of tons of sand were dumped in the area where the beach once stood, restoring the stretch of golden sand, delighting locals, and leading to an influx of tourists. 
As the story goes, the sand gave way to rocks at the beach along Northwest Ireland after a powerful storm in 1984. But 33 years later, Mother Nature turned back the sands of time as a freak tide at Easter saw the golden sand return to the small village on a chill island. But what's caused the sudden reappearance? There are two possibilities. It could be a change in sediment supply from further up or down the coast, which has brought a fresh amount of sediment to the beach. It could also be due to a change in environmental conditions, either an alteration in the wave climate or a series of tides that have provided the ideal conditions for this beach to reform. The island, the largest off the coast of Ireland, forms part of the Wild Atlantic Way, a tourist trail stretching from the south of the country to the northwest that's benefited from a tourist boom in the European Union's fastest growing economy. Number 7. Rope Monster No, this is not a monster from a Netflix TV series. This is a real thing. A huge mass of marine debris, comprised mostly of derelict fishing rope, has washed ashore on Camilo Beach in Hawaii, an area already known as a collecting point for ocean trash and plastic. And volunteers were back at Camilo, nicknamed Plastic Beach, for its long history of being ground zero for ocean-borne marine debris. The nonprofit organization has been removing debris here for the past 15 years and estimates that they've removed and transported more than 231 tons. The rope mass washed ashore, and experts believe it weighed about 40 tons. It was last spotted about 9.5 nautical miles south. From there, it either drifted further from the islands or broke apart. Without putting GPS trackers on them, predicting their movement is difficult, if not impossible. The Camilo Point Mass is demonstrative of the unprecedented arrival of large collections of marine debris. In fact, authorities removed or funded the removal of eight derelict fishing net rope masses from near shore waters and various shorelines. Based on debris that's had identifying marks or lettering, it's believed much of it originates in Asia. Some debris from the Japan tsunami of 2011 continues to show up here. Number 6. Concrete Ship Built in 1918, she currently lies just off the fishing pier on Seacliff State Beach in California. This ship is particularly noteworthy as she's made of reinforced concrete. The SS Palo Alto is an oil tanker that was supposed to serve in the First World War, but was completed so late that she never took part. And here she remains. Perhaps the most bizarre choice of material humans ever made to make a vessel that floats was reinforced concrete. For centuries, ships have been made of wood, which later gave way to tougher materials such as steel. But steel was expensive and not readily available, which became a major issue during the World Wars. As suspected, concrete was not the most ideal material to build ships with. They require a very thick hull to be as strong as a steel ship. This made the ship very heavy and consequently burned more fuel to move around. And if the hull is breached, they sink quickly owing to their weight sailors often called them floating tombstones. The oil tanker SS Palo Alto was towed here and made into an amusement park with amenities including a dance floor, a swimming pool, and a cafe. The park closed two years later when the company went bankrupt. Today, it's yet another wreck on the beach. Number 5. Gold Bars A gold rush started at a beach in Kent, a town in England, where a German artist buried over $10,000 worth of gold as part of an arts festival. The artist hit 30 24 karat gold bars on Folkestone's Outer Harbor Beach. And more than 150 people started digging for gold when low tide exposed the beach. Incredibly, organizers let prospectors keep any bars they found. So friends and families on the scene struck gold as part of the town's Triennial Arts Festival. The Folkestone Digs Project is part of the town's Triennial, which has previously included work by artists including Tracy Emin. Jeremy Deller and Martin Creed. Artists, including Yoko Ono, have taken part as well. The real fun is the family affair on the beach. Hundreds of people got out their shovels and metal detectors and headed to hunt for the precious metal during the triennial. And in the days and weeks after the exhibit launched, several visitors and residents came forward to say they'd been lucky and struck gold. But while some treasure hunters let organizers know of their find, it's unlikely everyone who hit the jackpot did. And as a result, it's impossible to know if all the gold has been found, or if some remains were still hidden close to the sandy shore. Number 4. By the Wind Sailors 
Despite being described as strange, bizarre, mysterious, and even alien, it turns out these creatures have a name. Marine researchers are calling it Velella Velella. Some people call them jellyfish, but they're in fact only distantly related and only superficially similar. And social media is teeming with pictures of small bright blue sea creatures washing up all over California beaches, with sightings reported in Humboldt County, Monterey, and Ocean Beach. The small, delicate-looking marine invertebrates are commonly called by the wind sailors and are characterized by a clear, semicircular sail sticking above the water. Valella can be found floating on the sea surface. They feed on zooplankton and fish, and their predators are snails. They generally float offshore, but can be blown onshore in large numbers. Valella can be found floating on the sea surface. They feed on zooplankton and fish, and their predators are snails. They generally float offshore, but can be blown onshore in large numbers. The direction of the sail along the float determines which way the by the wind sailor will travel. If the sail runs northwest to southeast along with the float, it will drift left for the wind direction. If the sail runs southwest to northeast, it will drift right of the wind direction. But when big storms sweep out of the southwest, like one that hit California, it blows these living flotillas onto the beaches. Number 3. Mystery Dice A giant, rusty-looking dice washed up on the lakeshore recently in Idaho at Lake Coeur d'Alene. One side of the die has some pipes coming out of it, and the dots on each side are surprisingly white. It's about six feet by six feet, and not long after it appeared, city workers came through to remove it. What's up with that? One beachgoer commented, As my dad and I were leaving the beach, there were a bunch of people braving the rain and snapping photos with it too. How could you not? Locals speculated about the origins of the mysterious die. It seemed clear that someone had added the white decals to an otherwise unremarkable box. There's been social media chatter that the steel object has been apparently floating and making its way around the lake for years, and especially moves around during high water years. And the press reported that the object is an old steel storage tank that washed up on shore on Driftwood Bay in 2008. And at some point, someone got a little artistic to make the tank resemble a massive-sized die. The man behind the decoration has been revealed. Mystery solved. The man, who owns a sign shop, used a machine and some vinyl stickers to fix it up. The massive container washed up near his in-law's property, and he turned it into this. Number 2. Thousands of Crabs Massive numbers of bright red tuna crabs have washed up on California beaches recently. Also known as tuna crabs or pelagic red crabs, they've been seen in droves along the San Diego coastline from Ocean Beach to La Jolla. Typically, such strandings of these species in large numbers are due to warm water intrusions. Tuna crabs primarily inhabit the west coast of Baja California, the Gulf of California, and the California Current. The species is unique in that it can live its entire life cycle in the water column, surface to seafloor, from larvae to adulthood. Larger adult tuna crabs are known to inhabit just above the seafloor and make vertical excursions to the surface to feed on phytoplankton. Because they live in the water column, they're subject to the winds, tides, and currents, and stuff like this happens. The first question on many people's minds was, can we eat them? There were reports that some people were taking the red tuna crabs home, but the experts advise against it due to unknown toxins that may be present within the crabs. In particular, the scientists noted the biggest toxic algal bloom in the Pacific Ocean which stretches from California north to Washington state, though they're unsure how it might be related to red tuna crabs. Number 1. Super Rare Fish What's got scales, a fin, and looks like a Komodo dragon but lives in the sea? Meet the Atlantic Sturgeon. Someone was out for a jog in Island Beach State Park in New Jersey when she spotted the giant fish carcass. The creature was very interesting looking, and based on the pictures, you can see why. Its body patterns are very striking, as a fish that's come from another time. The Atlantic sturgeon can be found in the fossil records as far back as 200 million years. The fish has been on the planet for a long time, but its population declined dramatically in the 1990s. A type of fish dating back to prehistoric times, the Atlantic sturgeon was once so plentiful its eggs fueled a thriving industry. There was a large fishery that was centered around Atlantic sturgeon and their eggs because sturgeon caviar is a highly sought-after commodity. The fishery collapsed when the population of sturgeon could no longer support it. 
harvest of Atlantic sturgeon has been banned since 1998 in hopes that the species can recover. Now, local fish and wildlife teams tag around 200 of these animals a year as they head up to Delaware River to spawn. You'll probably never look at a trip to the beach the same again. We know we certainly won't, so like and subscribe while you're here and share this with your friends and family. It might be good for them to see these videos if they're planning on a trip to the beach.